Hello everybody and welcome to the World Cup second round match between Crystal Hunter and Eva. Eva with uh, the blue humans has won the toss and chose to receive Crystal Hunter with the orange and green humans. Um, just a stun now. Eva has a 55% win rate in Champs Ladder. Qualified from Pietro Di Minotauro, so I imagine he's Spanish. Um, Crystal Hunter is Dutch and has a 63% win rate in Champs Ladder. And he qualified from CCL PC Season 14. So, um, yeah, interesting. Human Mirror. Human's obviously pretty good. I don't really like what Eva's done here with the uh, dodge as the double, but I mean, it's just something I never considered. It doesn't mean it's bad, just not for me. Um, Crystal Hunter has gone for the dodge catcher, which I think is uh, kind of standard. Oh, pick up fail. But you know, he did the right things. He screened it off everything before, made all the blocks, screened it out, so. Obviously a touch and look at fail the pick up, but good turn overall. Another human mirror. <laughs> the fourth human mirror of the World Cup this is. But you know, humans are pretty strong in this format, I think. Uh, particularly the early games. And obviously seeing as people want to get, win two games to get $250. Um, it makes sense to use something that's strong in the first games. The prevalence of humans is kind of making me regret Woody's a bit, but yeah. They're, they're still super strong, even though people are going to have a mighty bow tackle. Only tackle on Crystal Hunter's team. He's gone for a tackle and a mighty bow on different players to give him the option between, say, you know, guard on both or piling on on the mighty ball guy or mighty ball on the tackle and I do like that he's kept his options open that's uh, something that I hadn't really considered um, but then I would have just spam guard anyway so, so you know <laughs> where is that Ooh. I'm not sure I'm a fan of that I think maybe the ball could have been a little bit further back. <laughs> this this I thought was crazy, but then the fact he moved that one, that's fair. There's not too much coming on from the back side here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI, so maybe a one dice in with a lot of rolls. So yeah, it makes sense to have them both over here rather than here. But still, I think I would have rather just had the ball a little bit further back on the screen. Because this is inviting like an over blitz or something. And pressure coming in the front. So he has got the ogre around the ogre, the catch around the back. Will you be going for the ogre blitz? Base the ball. Looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. I like that, especially when you got block on the ogre. It's the ball, the classic. See, this is the thing. This is this is this is always the and I like the the kind of bracketing that he's done there. But this is always the danger when you kind of go a bit too close, isn't it? Um, so you know. Fella Hoppy kind of stayed too far back in my opinion. And then maybe Lever's gone a bit too close here. Chain out for the handoff. I like that. That's good. The handoff for the catcher. But there's not really anywhere good for the catcher to go, is there? <laughs> I'm not sure he had to go quite wow a GFI to get on the sideline. I'm not sure he, he had to go that far away. Um <laughs> I 
But you know, I, I understand it, you know. If he dodges away and stuff, he could get to the enemy, but maybe he just had to go like here or something. Just stop this catcher from getting one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI, GFI. Like if you just got here, maybe here or something. I don't think he had the GFI to go all the way away. Again, it just cuts down his options for next turn, doesn't it? Next turn, he can only go like here. Because if he was here, he could go loads of places. Though I guess if he'd been closer, he would have been faced by tackle. <laughs> But he, he's just again like 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 Vela Hobby's match. He's he just can't get support from the rest of his team. Can he? He's kind of he could have gone back, but just not as far back. Now he's in a lot of trouble here. A lot of trouble ever. He has to try and I don't know, do some kind of pass to a potato or something. Three wigs. He's not down players. But it feels like he's down loads of players, and I guess this is two stuns doesn't help. But everyone's in the middle of the of Crystal Hunter's team, aren't they? Oh, he needs to not fail this GFI now. Oh, oh no, no, he shouldn't have failed that GFI. That was that was a bad mistake. <laughs> so I guess his play was to blitz there, get a pal, run up, hand it off, and then escape somehow. Um, but that was a bad time to roll the double one. Should not have rolled that double one. Um, it's a classic mistake, you know. I, I roll double ones myself sometimes, and it's never a good idea. <laughs> um, with him being on the sideline as well, this gives this gives Crystal Hunt the surf, doesn't it? Which is which is not something he should have had. Really, he really shouldn't have been on the sideline. Just because that double one could have happened, couldn't it? And he made a GFI to be on the sideline as well, for really no reason. And he could well pay the price this turn. Instant reroll here, of course. Gets the push out. No Kaz, but Crystal Hunter won't mind. Oh wow, what a throw in as well, and he's got all these guys to react. <laughs> Ever's whole team's on the floor. Um, I mean, that was, that was a crucial double one there, but he hadn't picked up the other guys, and he'd got himself into a pickle by caging too close and then running away too far. So, yeah, I think this is... <laughs> well, I mean, it is a disaster of a half, so a disaster of an offensive drive. And not only that, much like in Bernie's game against Andy Davo, there's no way for him to pressure the score to make it before turn eight, is there? Really, I think not only is this not scored, it's definitely going to be a turn eight score for Crystal Huntley. Um, no KOs yet. Oh yeah, I should have mentioned that Ever doesn't have a apple he's got. Oh, he's got he's he's given up a reroll. He, he gave up a reroll to get the third neck play. Um, Crystal Hunt, on, on the other hand, has three rebounds on that one, and 12 men. But yeah, this is just kind of an easy stall out now, isn't it? He's got his thrower on the way, so he can make a mighty blow blitz, and then get the thrower to make the pick up. And yeah, looking, looking pretty bad. pretty good even though it had no effect it's just the psychological psychological impact tempts fate with a two dice block before the pick up there A one. Got three rebels might as well. Basing him is, is good, isn't it? Also screening here, two man screen. So I like that reroll even though it didn't look much. I think it was worth doing. But uh, wow, 
promises. This is really rough forever, isn't it? But you know, he had he had a bit of bad dice with a failed pickup and, and the double one. But at the end of the day, he didn't need to stand on the sideline. He didn't need to get so close to the LOS. So he, you know, it's. I think he can't really complain about the dice too much. This is just mostly just being outplayed by uh, Crystal Hunter here. Or by himself. I mean, he just didn't need to go on the sideline, did he? That was, he's got a lot of pressure, actually. He has managed to get a lot of pressure on. So maybe Crystal Hunter will just score here. Yeah, I think I think after saying that he, he would be able to score, I mean, he could make a, he could make a full cage still. Yeah. But maybe he won't. Yeah, he could make, he could still make a full cage. Maybe if he gets the knockdown, he'll cage. And if not, he'll score. But three guys with tackle. I'd be tempted to just fully cage up here. And he's only a two-turn chance forever, and he's only got one reroll. Ah, oh, he got the ball down. So yeah, maybe if he'd got the pal. He would, have, he would have caged, but that's in a bit of a sticky spot, isn't it? I can see, I can see why he scored there. Um, I guess I would have done as well. Scoring, scoring before turn eight when you're on defense seems all right, doesn't it? So yeah, ever ever can score a two turn touchdown here, and then you know on on defense pull something out of the bag. Or even get it to overtime, so it's it's definitely not over um, if he scores. <laughs> if he doesn't score, it's going to be really hard. But still, still absolutely not over, is it? Anything can happen. Anything can happen in Blood Pop. It's never over until it's over. And yeah, he's you know humans are, with the catches and that they've got they've got half a chance of a two turner. Better than a lot of teams at two times. So he's got the guards on the outside to protect the outside push, but the inside are defenseless players. So I would for sure be looking to blitz this guy, bring, well, block this guy down, blitz this guy down, because he's the throwers, so you might as well. And then uh, go for the extra bit of value, and then kind of cage here. Somehow. Okay, that's not bad. So you want basically you want one catcher as a scoring threat first, and then go one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI handoff, and then get him in, or even pass it, because normally you would never pass, but with only one reroll you might need the reroll. So he's going down the sideline, using the card to go down the sideline. I think I would have rather gone in the middle, but fair enough. He is blood, so he's a, he's a fine scoring threat himself. It's a bit tricky, this guy being close to the sideline, isn't it? That's the that's the problem with going sideline. Yeah, okay, going for the pass, that's fair enough. He just want to use his reroll on it. Obviously the, the, the GFI handoff was better better chance of success, but didn't want to risk using his reroll. So yeah, he has jammed himself a bit against the sideline here. To say he's got so many players through, I, I, I do think the uh, the kind of you know a cage in the middle here would have been better. He could have caged in these five these five squares uh, with a you know few more dice. But Crystal Hunter should be able to shut this down pretty effectively.
Dard, dard on the catch is actually pretty huge at this point. Nice non-follow. Some people may have followed that and I think it would have been a bad follow. Huge dodges now if he wants to get him back. He's got a reroll though. He's got two rerolls, so. Yeah, it's, that's really huge with dice rolls there getting that back. So, how does Ever score? First of all, he bases um, Crystal Hunter's scoring threat, which is a great idea. Um, you know, looking at it, it he, he is a bit screwed by this guard. Um, it's it's pretty tricky. I think probably his best chance is literally to just stand up this guy. Um, or maybe uphill blitz. Uphill blitz for a push. <laughs> um, so now... He's got a guard in there, so that makes this catcher strength three, so that it's not a three dice uphill, and then so a two dice uphill from the blitzer, then a two dice uphill from the catcher, and then a three plus dodge to score, is is I believe his best play. I could be wrong, but it's not looking good, is it? Two uphill blocks for pushes, uh, not not that bad odds actually, but I think that's probably his best chance. Oh, he could have got the guard in, maybe. So if he could have got that guard in, it would have been a one dice blitz and then a two dice up pull. But instead... He's just going for the uphill blitz and then dodges through, I, think, I guess. Or maybe not even trying to score to stop the counter score. Yeah, he's going for it. So he gets the skull and the ball down. So, you know, it probably wouldn't have wouldn't have worked wherever he tried. To be fair, but I do think that was the play. Uh, if he could have got the guard in here, one dicing him, and then uphilling him, and then dodging through, was, I'm pretty sure was the right play. But you know, he was three. He only had three minutes. Um, I don't like what Crystal Hunt is doing here because he could have easily served two players. Uh, double surf was pretty easy there, um, but you know, again, they're, they're playing in two minute, in three minute turns, and there's pressure and stress and ev all that sort of stuff. Rush of blood, you know, people make just mistakes in the spur of the moment, don't they? Try something, and I guess he was trying to just get clear the ball to get this guy, but I mean, three players around yeah. was really going to score. So I think he should have double surfed. Goes for a foul, gets a gym foul. Um, fair enough, he's done making the foul, he's got the reserve. You know, he's, he's obviously attempting to win in the second half here. He doesn't want to, doesn't want to play for overtime, does he? He's one up. So, yeah, make the foul and hope that this drive in the second half is is the last drive of the game. Or the deciding game, drive, drive of the game at least. So, no removals on either side from Kaz, just the sending off. like a standard ziggurat from ever. Yeah, this is, this is looking obviously very good for Crystal Hunter, isn't it? He can score at any time and it gives him the win. Almost certainly, almost certainly gives him the win if he scores on any turn, so that makes it really hard to defend. Um, I like having the block players here to make out a break through, but he's not really going to try to break through, so it's probably just giving the catcher as a tackle hit, which isn't that bad because in Blood Bowl 2 they're on rate. Um, I think the Blood Bowl 2 catcher is a lot better than the Blood Bowl 2016 catcher, uh, 70k for armor 8, whereas in Blood Bowl 2016 tabletop they're uh, armor 7 for 60k. I'd gladly pay 10k for a point of AV, so. Yeah, that's. Uh, I think they're much better in. Much, much better in Blood Bowl 2. Because. And I'm still, you know, just quite like from habit. 
and all the years of playing good ball, you know, tabletop. I mean, 20, 24 years of playing good ball, third edition tabletop. Catchers have always been armor seven, so it's a bit it's a bit hard for me to to remember that catchers are armor eight here, and you know I'll naturally target them whenever I can with Mighty Blow and stuff, just because I, I still think they're armor armor seven because they look armor seven, don't they? People have people have dissed Games Workshop for saying the models look armor seven, so we can't make them armor eight, but it's right, isn't it? It's absolutely right. It, it it's it kind of is a bit stupid that the guy with obviously less armor on doesn't have a lower armor value. Um, it's why <laughs> Cyanide's uh, Ulf Werners look so bad, I think, because they're strength 4, but they look strength 3 or strength 2. Kind of, you know, almost a relevant stun, but the, the rock was huge, wasn't it? The throne rock stunning the ogre there has really opened things up. Opened up a hole at the heart of his defence. And he's, you know, Crystal Hunter is used to Skaven, so you've absolutely got to defend against the fast goal with him. He won't be afraid of, uh, of getting catch a touchdown. Definitely not afraid of making it. Agility 3 dodges, which is something that terrifies me. <laughs> it's why I couldn't go humans or undead, basically. But both both humans and undead rely on making agility 3 dodges at some point. And it's really not that unlikely, is it? 8 times out of 9. But it's unlikely enough for me to, to not want to ever try it again. <laughs> Basically, I like the bit of threat threat in the backfield there. I do like that play. But this is a huge hole, isn't it? But the thing is, you can't you can't really go for it with a with a thrower, can you? You'd have to hand off to get there. But maybe he will. He's got this catcher here, hasn't he? The, the handoff does make it really pretty much game over. Um, otherwise, he just cages here and waits. But this is a good, a good shot to get forward and essentially make it, make the game safe. Yeah, he would have blocked his way through once the tacklers through after. Um, the tacklers, the blitzers through after. He has to do the handoff there, so he's ma he's making it as safe as possible. Um, yeah, and then, I mean, okay, it's a double one. It would have failed if he was an elf. But this is exactly the sort of plays that I don't want to have to make as humans, you know, the one in the one in nine play there. I mean, he, he, could, have, he could have played it safe and he could have just caged up here. He could have just blitzed this ta catcher down with tackle and, and caged here, but I can see why he wanted to just kill it. This was a really good opportunity to get forward. Um, and yeah, you give that opportunity to a Skaven coach, and I guess he's going to go for it. <laughs> I'm not sure I like just maximizing blocks here. I think he's going to make something happen with. Well, he can't, it's a shame for him, really, we can't get the scatter. But he's got an ogre on the ball, which is pretty good. And the, the other old actually being spawned off is very nice, isn't it? You can herb dirt base, base, base a bit. And now all of a sudden, I mean it's not terrible for Crystal Hunter, he can get back, he can get back into it. But I can see why it took a shot to win. And he does have the uh, throw recovery here. With pushes. So yeah, not not the end of the world, even failing that one. So. Let's go back. Ooh, ooh, that's in contact. I don't know. I, I still think I would have just left it like here. 
There's been a bit of an overreaction in there. Uh, in the first two human games that I've seen, kind of playing like elves, you know, going really back and... You know, I think he didn't need to go as far back. I mean, I think everyone, including Ever, will agree that he went way too far back. But I don't think he had to go this far back, but... Fair enough. If he hadn't gone that far back, he would have been blitzed and he'd have been double based. So, fair enough. This way he's forced a GFR. Well, I say force, he didn't have to try to base him, but forcing GFRs if he wanted to base him. Tricky, doesn't it? I like I like this move here. This this guy's free, isn't it? Oh no, there's a there's a player here. Oh yeah, this is pretty tricky. Nice chain to free the uh, lineman on a pow. And if he doesn't get the pow, he gets to make the additional block to Freeman. Freeman pushes. That's basically how you should do them. So very good. So he clears the TZ, but what's he going to do with it? <sighs> Huge dodge. This is two dice on the ball, though, isn't it? Easy to uh, easy to assist this block and get 2D on the ball here. So, yeah. Sure, I like the uh, kind of irrelevant blocks first. Wow, aggressive apple again. I think I might have dodged him away as well. I don't, I don't like these kind of irrelevant ones. I would, I would get this done first and get the two dice in the ball first, and then particularly the blo the blodge, uh, the blodge blitz you want to be able to react to, but don't you? I think. It's the pal, but it could be a throw in. And it could have been, you know, and if it, this throw in, it could go there, in which case you can score the catcher, it can go there, in which case you can cover the catcher. But if it goes back and he's activated both of these guys, I think you'd have definitely wanted to go and pick up with this, this dodge so. Nice dodge there. But yeah, looking, looking grim for Crystal Hunter now, isn't it? Good value on the block ogre. I mean, to be fair, throughout the tournament, block on the ogres has been pretty good. Lots of games where they've uh, they've rolled that. Yeah, I think maybe the last catcher wasn't in such a great position here, letting himself get chained away. And now, Crystal Hunter can escape to victory, maybe. But by going for these hits, um, you know, I mean, I would have gone for them later in the turn. But I would have still, yeah, maybe he's gone for, I would have gone for both after it landed where it did probably. He does have 2D on the ball with block, doesn't he? Not too crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI, but he's got dodge for it. Um, Oh, sorry. <laughs> Excuse me, he's got a much easier one. <laughs> yeah, you can just block him. Oh, yeah. So yeah, 2D without block. But I think I'll maybe make some safe moves first and accept the double, the double down here. Yeah, he couldn't, he couldn't accept the both down, could he? Because he 
haven't made the other moves. If he had tagged, I no, couldn't really tag the catcher. He could have tagged him. Hmm. Maybe he thought about it. Maybe he thought about it because the ball down wasn't great. It wasn't great there, to be fair. And these are all required dice rolls. And you really want the reroll to hit the ball. Wow, huge Kaz. If if the game goes to overtime, that is massive. Yeah, but if if he'd done the safe moves first, he could have done these kind of safer moves and then tagged both these players. Um, and this is a huge mistake by ever there. Should have absolutely 100% put the catcher in this square. Or this square, or this square, or this square, but at least here. Because now he's just left the hole for the guard to get the guard in. And uh, yeah, he absolutely should have been there. Because two players here, if he'd been here, he'd have had the screen. And he couldn't have broken it, except by with a one dice block. Without block. Um, so yeah, that was, that was a real mistake, letting the guard get in. Which allows Crystal Hunter the one dice blitz. Which is basically a three plus, isn't it? Another three plus. <laughs> and yeah, he's in. He's in, and that's all she wrote. Because the chance of the, the chance of humans getting a, a, what, a two turn touchdown or a one turn touchdown, and then a blitz or a riot or something, it's. Uh, I guess double riot would give him a chance. There's there's some combination of results that gives ever a chance, but it's uh, it's very low, and you know absolutely deserved for Crystal Hunter here this this probable win. But we'll see. It's not over. Not over till it's over. Quite like this setup from, from Chris Lunt there actually. Only nine players, but he's he's put them in some kind of a formation that, that resembles something good. And he gets a blitz. <laughs> uh, he can't really do a whole lot with it. I mean, he's lost his he's lost his his tackle guy. He's lost his block guard ogre. Um, yeah, it's not. You can't really do a whole lot with the blitz. He uses places both his guard to get a two D, which is fair enough. Got a block here, three dice from the ogre. And get some people forward, he's got half a chance. Half a chance of the score here. And if he scores in two, who knows what could happen. Don't like the push square block the catcher's diagonal. I'd have pushed him in here. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, hand off to the catcher. And get get basically potato. Unprotected run into the opponent's half. But he cost him a square without push damage and didn't he? Yeah, he could have could have been one square further. Um I don't know if that'll be relevant or not. But Nice little dodge out for a bit of a screen. I mean, he's given it his all as you would expect in the World Cup, wouldn't you? There's no point giving up and it's still time to like technically, even if you need sixes all the way, there's still a chance, isn't there? I don't think you should give up in the World Cup. Um, you know, there was some there was some times when it was obviously done ahead of time. 
But this is this isn't ridiculous that he's, he scores in two and then gets a blitz or a riot. So. Two re -rolls. I mean, even if he had one reroll, I think he would have rolled it. So, yeah, there's, there's so many players around now, I think. Four plus three plus dodge is the only way. Um, Oh no, he's got the hand off. Oh, that's, that's what mine, mine was way worse. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, that's way better than what I thought. I don't know why I thought he had the dodge. Yeah, he's got the catch up next to him. Oh well, makes it absolutely the right play there. Doesn't get the dice. Wouldn't have got them even if he'd been an elf. Uh, what a time for a double one. So that's definitely confirmed. There's no way. There's no way he can score two now. So. Uh, Chris Lunder didn't even bother doing anything because he knows. He knows he's won. <laughs> A classic tripwire. Can't even make it look close. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. The tripwire gets every time. Uh, but you know, I mean, Chris Lunder could have stopped the score if he if he played harder on his turn sixteen. He just knew it was over, so he didn't really care, did he? Um, but yeah, you know, thoroughly deserved, I think, for Chris Lunder. I think there's been a lot of games where the dice have been horrible and stuff for one person, and uh, there's been very few where one person has just clearly played played better than the other. And I think, I think Chris Lunder has clearly played better in this game than ever. No offence, you know, um, but yeah, I think thoroughly deserved, well played, commiserations to ever, but congrats to Crystal Hunter, thanks for watching, if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.